When you look at videos that we've done on logs to lumber, whether it's using a bandsaw or a sawmill, one of the things I've talked about a bunch of times is the benefit of sequence cut material. And big scale, like we're gonna look at here, or smaller scale, stuff you're cutting on your own bandsaw, the song rings true every time. And here's the deal. Sequence cut means that when the log is being cut, you pay attention to, there's board number one, board number two, board number three, and that's what we're gonna look at here. When you look really closely at these two boards, and there are two here, you can tell that they were cut from the same big chunk of wood, from the same log. You can tell by just looking down that front edge and see how all the saw marks align. Now, when they were cut apart, I kept track of them. So one of the things we get out of this is the big reveal, which is when I open this up, like this, fire in the hole, and push them together. This is just so cool. Just like when you resaw lumber on your bandsaw and we talk about a book match, same thing. Look at the book match that we have in these two boards. We've got up here by me, we've got some compression wood surrounding these knots, these, what was a branch in the tree. A little bit further down, we've got some spalting. So imagine if you're making a big old harvest table and we create a glue seam here in the center, put these two boards together, how beautiful that would be with the grain perfectly mirror imaged on either side. So this, when we talk about sequence cutting, keeping track of the logs, this is why you do it. Keeping track of the boards, this is why you do it. So that when this is dry, and it's gonna take quite a while because they're dripping wet right now, when the lumber is dry, I can bring the boards back together, take advantage of the book match that I have here, and end up with beautiful grain in the finished project. Definitely worth keeping your eye on the sequence and making sure you keep track of the boards.